Hey guys, so before we jump into links, let's describe what URLs are. So URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator, and this is just a fancy name for an address. So each file on the internet has a unique URL. So this is an example URL here. Now the first part of the URL is called the scheme. Here it would be the HTTP colon slash slash, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. This is used to access web pages. Now you may see other schemes with an S at the end, and this is similar, but it's used on more secure web pages. Other schemes include FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol and is used to download files, while Mail2 is for sending emails. So in our example, it would be www.sumsite.com. Next, you have your path, and the folder here indicates a directory, while the index.html is the actual file to be opened. Now, if you don't have the index.html, it will usually just search for index.html because that's the default file page. Now, to define a link, we use the a tag with the href attribute. Absolute URLs contain all the information you need to point to the web address. When you're locating a file or address in someone else's web server, we use absolute URLs. Now, if you're referencing a file within the same directory, we use relative URLs. So here we would be referencing the fourth playground in our tutorial. Now let's look at the code. So we have our links playground here, and this is going to be a link to YouTube. So we have our a tag with the href attribute, and we have our link here, our URL, and then we have a title, and this is going to display when we hover over the link, and we can have our text here that we can click. Next, we have our relative URL, which is going to be directed towards our playground. And this will take us to the fourth tutorial playground. So let's open this up. And we can see that when we hover over YouTube link, it has link to YouTube. And when we click it, we can go to YouTube. Next, we can also go to our list playground by just clicking lists. 